All right, you guys, so today we're actually going to be shooting this doe straight from Northgate. I'm going to be using all these pellets. I know the ones on the end, they're pretty much not like hollow points. They're not meant for like creating the biggest wound cavity, but we're going to try them out anyways. But yeah, let's start off with the daisy hollow points. All right, so I don't think that was a good idea. I literally have dough all over me. Look, there's dough on the floor all over. Daisy hollow points are literally like one of my favorites. They create a huge wound cavity. Look at that. The daisy hollow points, they actually um, use all its energy like at the beginning. So as you guys can see, like in the back, the exit, it's a small little exit because they used all its energy in the beginning but it's a huge hole all right so we got the daisy hollow points with the steel bb don't mind my hands i got dough all over so basically it didn't make a big as big of a hole as with just the daisy hollow point, but let's see the back side real quick. These expand a little bit later into the dough. That's why they have a bigger exit hole. I think if I would have had more dough, they would have expanded even more. Need a decent hole. Let's try another one. So these are actually the Ultra Shock hollow points. They're going slower than the daisy hollow points because these are heavier. I think these are like 10 grains or something. So that was the Ultra Shock hollow point. As you guys can see, it uses all its energy at the beginning and then on the back side, it's a tiny hole tiny exit hole pretty big all right so we got the daisy flat nose all right so it actually that one actually took a whole chunk off i think i hit it a little bit to the left you can see the whole damn I don't know if I'm gonna have enough dough there's literally chunks all over the floor of dough I'm gonna redo the daisy flat nose literally shot dough all over me that was the entrance right here. It's a pretty good, good size hole. It's pretty good. All right, so we got the Gamo Energy. All right, that one was the Gamo Magnums pointed pellets. Clean hole right through. All right, next we got the Gamo Rockets. So that was the Gamo Rockets. I mean, I was expecting a bigger hole, but yeah it was a little bit bigger than the uh pointed pellets the gamma magnums but i don't think the gamma rockets or hnn hornets expanded all the way i think they need to hit like bone or something harder so we got the hnn hornets i got dough all over my hands this thing is messy
All right. Not a lot of damage, honestly. But with this one, the difference it will, I could kind of tell is it's the exit hole is a lot bigger. All right. Next, we got the gold flights. So that was the gold flights. Did make a hole. Made a big hole. Bigger than the H and N Hornets and the what is it? The Gamma Rockets. I think the gold flights actually beat the Daisy Hollow Point. I'm gonna put a picture side by side. Let me know what you guys think. Looks like it made a bigger hole. I think this one was by far the biggest exit hole. Yup. And don't worry, I got the um metal sheet over there. And I'm literally shooting from like five feet away, like over here. Next up, we got the Prometheus Excite. What's up, Blue? Chico Blue, no, don't eat it, all right? So that was the Prometheus Excite. Not a big entrance hole, but pretty big exit hole. Pretty big. I don't know why. I mean, it's not a hollow point, but I think because of how fast it was going. But I'm not sure if you guys want to tell me in the comments why these have a bigger exit hole, even though it's not even a hollow point. Next, we got the fast flights. Literally dough everywhere. All right, so that was the entrance. I see the exit. It's a big exit. All right, so we got the Gamolitos. I mean, I don't really expect them to do, to create a big hole. These are meant for penetrating. They're not meant for creating. All right, so that was the Gamolitos. It's the entrance. Decent size exit wound. 